Hi guys. I just got home from possibly the worst fishing trip that has ever existed. I'll show you a picture of the guy that won whatever was being given away because it was through it was through a warehouse that I purchased products from. And I will show you what little I caught in a moment. I just got home from the worst half day fishing trip ever and I'm bored. So, oh, and my wife's not around. So what else are we gonna do? Light a fire, because it was 90 degrees in the house when I got home. also my first video with the GoPro mounted on my head I have no idea how much you'll be able to see or even what's being seen right now uh, so look hot and round again with my nutty huh, not nutty or kernelly no my kernelly uh, okay great cut redo Take two. My cotton round with stupid uh, corn kernels in there that never light. So if they do light, uh, that will be a miracle. Get me some kindling. I don't even know where all this kindling came from. I'm not sure. If... I think my granddaughter gathered it up for me. All right. Let's see. Again, I have no idea where this thing is looking. Okay, got my kindling. May not even take the time to write light real wood. My fireplace is a mess, but everybody throws their yard stuff in here. And I'm not really looking for. Look at that, caught in the spider web. I'm not looking for feather sticks from my fatwood. It's just that fatwood burns so well. Going from one level of the fire to the next, it's always super helpful. Boy, this is so dry. I mean, yeah, I know my knife got sharpened recently, and I haven't used it that much. Maybe it's just the knife, but it feels like the fatwood is like completely dried out like it's just old pine wood now all right so hoping the camera's in the right direction as i learned on my other videos my experimentation is that it's no use even trying to light a cotton round if you haven't exposed some cotton even though the thing's been soaked in wax i was watching some of my own videos last night and I thought they were funny before. Now I'm like, why would anybody watch those? What I did notice is how bad I was at striking the ferro rod. Hmm, see I probably don't have enough exposed. Okay. It's definitely taking too long. Cotton lights faster than this. So. Or there's some other thing coming into play like a crummy old cotton round that got soaked in wax and sat for five months. Hmm. All right. Maybe I was wrong about the fatwood shavings. I don't even know if you can see them. So let's put these guys down here. I do not feel good about this right now. Should have already lit. Just put a little 
ferro dust on there to really give it something to light. And I've learned nothing in six months. Hmm. Well, just with some You see those nice sparks coming from ferro dust that I've already put down. Okay, so there is just not real cotton exposed. That or this stuff is just so soaked with wax that it's actually ruined. Let's see. You know, I am going to do, I'm going to make a nice, real, nice little pile of Maya dust. with some all right so mostly I'm counting Well, this is one crappy little cotton round. It's like 85 degrees out, 85 degree humidity. And I'm messing around out here. Okay, so, ferro dust in the end. Oh, no, 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 Maya dust. If you watch my old videos, I was struggling because I couldn't remember what it was called. And I'm probably not even landing it where I need to be. Oh, but that's going to be, that's going to be the money. Now it's getting everywhere because I'm in a hurry. I may be over 49, but I still come from a generation of instant gratification. Okay. All right, you dirty, dirty dirt bag. Hmm. something else <sighs> some actual these are cotton rounds that Stevie G Steve Gannam of Bushcrafter 1973 gave me a while back. I think he was definitely better at making them. And uh, I think mine have just too much wax. There's like no cotton left or no, no easy to get to cotton that's not absolutely permeated with. Look, you can even see the little dots.
we gotta get to that. Some cotton goodness. Oh, come on now. See what I'm talking about? Look at that. I mean, it's gonna, now it's going to probably burn like a wick. Wow. Okay, there's got to be a lesson in how to correctly soak your cotton rounds in wax. Uh, apparently, I wasn't paying attention at that seminar. Because this is California, so there's a seminar for everything. Probably seminars on how to walk your dog. And if there are, please don't tell me about them. You know, one of the reasons why the fishing trip was so bad today was since San Diegans decided to, uh, I want to use the word screw over Mrs. Scripps, who gave the uh, children's pool to children and now it's all full of seals there were so many seals off of there when we were fishing today they basically ate all my bait I mean every I mean I'll show the pictures of the half-eaten bait or that's what you saw earlier because it should already been up so this guy went home hungry no fish for my wife or for me but the seals are stuffed right now. Okay. I think this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to come back and see what, what the cotton rounds are doing in a while. Because it's really was supposed to be more about the cotton rounds. But, you know, look at the... You can see the one. You can see both of them. Look at that. He's, he's just... Wow, look at that. Put some wax on here. Now that's a fire. And I could go, oh, everything's falling apart. Ow! Yeah. And I've destroyed it. Wayne the Destroyer. I have come for you. I will destroy your fire. Oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We have, we have, we have popcorn. Oh my god. We have, okay, we have our first popcorn kernel ever parped, parped, we also speak in Ozark here, um, first kernel ever popped from Wacky Wayne's world of, uh, cotton rounds that don't work, that was hilarious, look at that baby. Alright, well it's going to burn for a while and I'm just going to leave it alone. Good night, children.